<laughs> I want to go back. I want to go back to your life in chem. Yeah. Where there was a different belief system, different stories that mm-hmm. you had. So how many thousands of years ago was that? 12,000. 12,000 years ago. So when, before we go back there and tell those stories, and we did this on another podcast we did, just to help people get into that field of resonance with that time, I was hoping that you could sing another one of your songs that another you remembered oh, yeah. from your life in chem. And sure. so we'll just you know, close our eyes. Obviously, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. It's a bad idea. Uh, but take in, take in this song in Atlantean, which, by the way, everybody, he takes notes on his fucking with his stylus in Atlantean <laughs> sometimes when he wants to when he wants to just scribble some things down. It's pretty remarkable. <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> why, why don't why don't you sing? I, when I, when I when I start to to teach the language to others, I won't be able to do that anymore. Oh uh, yeah, because someone will be able to yes. translate it. You won't yeah. have you won't have a secret <laughs> so I, Atlantean. I, I, yeah, I won't have any secret anymore. Stop spying, Atlantean. <laughs> this is mine. Yes. All right. So bring us into bring us into the time of Chem and the language of Atlantis with a little song, if you would. Any any okay, song. Okay, I can. Uh, there's a, a there's a song for the elements that. Um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, she channeled uh, for our path that that was also seen in that time. So because we were together in that time. Mm. So she channeled that in Spanish, but we had it in that language too. So it's about the elements. So you're going to sing the Atlantean version. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. great. Sure. En yewa se sora mas Waso te tu metet mas Ir fi se hire prialan mas Ir fi re ke istol de firam mas Enye was a soda mass was so to met it mass.
says, uh, water is my soul. The earth, my body is lulled by earth. The air speaks my voice and light and set free my fire. That's the meaning of the song. The beautiful song. We're talking about the elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now that we're back, we've, for those of us who are open, we're back to an, to another time mm -hmm. and another reality. So tell us, tell us some stories about what we would consider magic now, but was a part of that reality, potentially how the big stones were moved mm -hmm. by people matching the vibration of the stones and singing, singing their vibration up to make them lighter solving one of these riddles of how they moved these big blocks yeah. or any 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 stories that come to mind that of of this time that you remember back in Chem 10 12,000 years ago well we we were told since we were uh being born um the stories of how we are drops of water from the universe so from the very beginning we we were connected to the nature, uh, making us become aware that we are everything that is around us. And um, they used to tell the stories that that the universe dropped uh, tears of joy during the creation, and that drops created an ocean of mind, and and these uh, water drops sometimes freeze and creates matter. And that matter is us being born into this reality and inside ignites the fire that, uh, that with the water and, and the fire expands the voice, which is the air. <clears throat> so they say that we have the water inside in the shape of matter, of, of a stone uh with the light of the fire inside that pushes the the voice of the air and uh, which is the truth so we are drops of the mind uh made into matter so because of this uh, because of this story we all um we all grew up knowing that we are nature that we are everything and that you can talk to the mountains and everything. So um, they, they told us a story that the universe dropped these first nine drops of uh, tears that we call the vowels. And each one of the tears vibrated in one way, which uh, all together sounded like And that's why we called it the Om. Mm. But it's like, uh, actually where ah, ah, eh, e, ye, e, o, o, o. And all these sounds were the first drops to the mind. And they divided into the water, the, the earth, the fire, and the air. And these four had each one of them a purpose in the universe, which was first expression. We have to express, it was the water. Mm. We have to experiment the earth. We have to integrate the fire and transcend the air. So each one of these process for each one of these drops had four drops more that took matter and we call them the consonants and were 36, so nine, times um, four. <coughs> four, 36. So they call the 36 patterns and sounds that could shape the reality. So we were told about how by singing, by the words, um, the transcendent of ourselves, we could manifest new realities and create from the ocean of mind. And that allows us to talk to the plants, 
and know which medicine was the right one. That allows us to talk to the snakes to tell us how to heal. That allows us to talk to the rocks and move them. And we knew that we were the snake, the rock, the tree. So we were just communicating with another part of ourselves that is another drop in the ocean of the mind.